Hi everybody, welcome back to Bentley House. I'm Aira and today I'm going to be sharing a miniature haul with you. These are my two bags and though they are somewhat small, they have miniatures in them so there's several things I can share with you today. I went to the Texas Miniature Showcase, which is always the first weekend in May. I've been to the showcase several years and I always come away with several things that I really love. Also, just this week, I hit over 100,000 views on my channel. So obviously, if you're watching this video, you are one of those people who've been clicking on my videos. Thank you so much for your support. It's just one of the milestones that I'm hoping to continue to hit as my channel grows. So here we go. I'm going to start with the white bag. And I just kind of, as I purchase things, put stuff into the bag. So I know what I bought, but I don't know what order I'm gonna pull it out in, so. Okay. So this was one of my more expensive purchases. And um, I'll kind of tell you the prices. Um, this was one that I waited till the end to kind of, um, go around and figure out what I wanted and uh, I really loved these miniatures so of course when I love something I'm willing to spend a little bit more money on them. This is a little carpet bag and um, I'm hoping you can kind of see the texture. It really feels like what a carpet bag would feel like and oh my goodness I don't know I know that these open. I'm a little scared to open it, but the bag does open if you can get... She showed it to me. I don't want to do it right now, but it opens and um, can be put into a scene. Uh, I just loved it. I thought it was so creative and so cute. So this is one of my big purchases. And that guy was... Let's see. Um, that was 30 this was a $30 miniature. And then um, the vendor for this was the Dolls Cobbler. And so you can go to the dollscobbler.com if you have any questions. Um, I haven't been to the site, but um, there might be some things for, for sale there. I'm not quite sure. And I also bought some Oxfords for Gomez. Let's see if I can get these out. So the detail on all her shoes is uh, quite amazing. And so as you can see, this is why I was like, you know, ready to um, purchase something that's probably a little bit more expensive. These were actually only $17. So honestly, for workmanship, and I, you know, I'm not sure how long. It takes her to create something like this probably a while so I felt like $17 was an amazing deal and you can see the detail of the shoelaces so um, these are gonna be for Gomez they're gonna go in his bedroom and I just thought they'd look so cool sitting just like on the floor by the bed the next thing okay so this vendor is tinytexas.com and um, so if you are interested in any of these items, you can definitely go there and check out their stuff. Let's see. First item is um, this little gun holster. And I'll open it up so you can kind of see the detail. I just thought it was very, very detailed. And I believe um, the lady who was selling it said a lot of these items were made by a man in Mexico who recently passed away. So just the detail on everything is just beautiful. And they, these were $13, as you can see. So I just, I love the detail on this. I'm not quite sure where it's going to go, but I really liked those. Um, and then I got this little violin. Gomez plays the violin several times for Morticia in the TV shows and the movie. Um, so, I'm actually going to open this now that I have it home. And it looks like this guy was 19. Uh, so, I've got the little violin and the little bow. 
So and they had several different um, styles, but I really like this guy. So he'll probably go in the bedroom as well, um, like up against the wall in Gomez and Morticia's bedroom. Okay, and then, let's see. Another thing from this vendor is just this little metal horse. And he was $8. I like to buy these little uh, metal miniatures. Sometimes they're game pieces, sometimes uh, sometimes they're made uh, for like a miniature shelf, but it looks good on like a desk or on a miniature shelf where you don't want to fill up the whole thing with books. So that guy was eight, eight dollars for him. And then lastly in here, I'm very excited for this. There were, this um, uh, vendor had a lot of Western type items, as you can tell. And uh, this was $10, um, but it's a beautifully beaded um, Native American headpiece. And if, uh, if you've seen, I believe it's the second movie, um, Adam's Family Movie Wednesday wears a headdress very similar to this. I'll put a picture in the video. Um, but when I saw this, I thought this would be so cool to have hanging off the end of her bed, kind of a memory of her time at camp, because that's when she wore it. Um, but anyway, I'm really excited to put that detail into my project. Next thing. Hmm. I don't remember. Oh, I know what this is. All right, so this was at a table where they were doing quarter scale items. Like I said, um, I like to collect these little statuettes as uh, like bookshelf pieces. So these are some little Spartans maybe, like Spartan warriors. And um, I got all three of these oops, for $3 total. They're not metal, they're kind of, they're very lightweight, they're plastic. But I got all three of these little warrior guys, and I like the aging. They look kind of like um, old copper because, you know, that's just how they look. Uh, so um, anyway, I thought that was a good deal. Three statuettes for three dollars. Um, and I can just put them on a desk, put them on a table, put them on a shelf. Um, so yeah, I like those guys. Okay, now I think I've got several from one table and I think the prices are on them all. This is a little salt and pepper set and I have a salt and pepper set for my Adams Family um, table but these just looked so much fancier. Can y'all see those? Um, and uh, I just thought they'd, they'd stand out so much more on the table and they were $4.80 for the set. So I liked those. And then, of course, um, if you've been in my live streams, you know I'm working on the greenhouse. So for 50 cents, I got this little trowel for um, digging in the dirt so I can just put that on the Morticia's work table. I got three rusty buckets. So, um, so I can always use some rusty buckets and they were a dollar each. I'll take one out so you can see it a little bit better. So it is metal. I don't know if it's real rust or if it's paint, um, but I really like the effect that it gives. So I can use these in just any scene practically because um, everything I do is pretty old and aged looking. Um, so yeah, there were a dollar each, so I got three and my sister went with me and she got two of them. So I think we bought her out of her rusty buckets. <laughs> Brooke Tucker Originals. And so it's www.brooktucker.com. So if you're interested in um, some of the things I show you, you can um, check her out there. And I think she does florals, so it's why she had the buckets, um, more garden-related items. Um, I also got two of these little multi-handle pots, and it looks like they're, they were $4. I like finding a variety of pots because usually if you're a collector um, or a gardener you just have all sorts of different looking pots they usually don't all look the same so just a little three handle pot um, this could also go somewhere else in the house it could go in the kitchen um, in grandmama's kitchen 
Um, and then here's another one that is the same shape. It just has a different finish on it. So here's this guy. So similar shape, just a different finish. And I think they were both, they were both $4. Okay, and then um, I have this little toaster. Let me get him out of the package. And I think I'm gonna put him in my abandoned coffee shop. I'm gonna age him, make him look a little bit rusty, set him on the counter because if it was a little um, family-owned coffee shop, I think they'd have a toaster kind of like this. And it actually, you can make it pop up. And it comes with um, these little toast pieces that are just basic plastic pieces. So I'll probably remake, um, if I do decide to put toast with it, um, I'll just remake those out of polymer clay. Okay, so now I have um, some more things for the conservatory, for Morticia, Morticia's table. This was a dollar, little um, set of shears for just to put on the work table. And here is another pot, and she told me it was by a certain artisan, B. Bain. Um, so it's very cute, it has a little, um, like a tile type looking piece on the front, and it's square, so it could be just a very cute little pot that sits on a entry table or something. Um, and that guy, uh, she gave me a discount on him, so I paid $2 for him, I think. Um, and then I got this guy for $3 to go in the kitchen. I liked the detail of the um, strainer piece, because I figured that I like to buy miniatures I think would be somewhat difficult for me to make myself, so if somebody else knows how to make it better than I do, I'm willing to pay that money. Um, so I don't typically buy a ton of furniture because I feel like um, furniture is what I started in and I like making furniture but I like to buy these little accessories where this would probably take me you know a good three hours to make or I could spend three dollars for someone else who's already made it and done a really amazing job so that's kind of how I purchase my miniatures um, but I like this guy he'll go in grandmama's kitchen okay so that is everybody from the white bag so now I'm gonna get the brown bag so let's pull out some things here I've got receipts um, okay so this vendor had a lot of clay tools and this is the vendor Stuart Dollhouse Creations, StuartDollhouseCreations.com, and I have a few dotting tools. They seem they aren't high quality, and the little metal nibs fall out a lot. So I thought this was really cool. They're really pretty, and six dollars for one, two, three, four, five tools with a different um, size on each end. I felt like that was a good deal, so I went ahead and purchased these from her. But she had a lot of um, clay kits. So if you're interested in clay, you might check out her website. And let's see, um, cover up her personal information, but here is her card and um, StuartDollhouseCreations.com. So you can kind of see um, some of her creations, like the cakes macaroons. She had a lot of molds, so if you're interested in molds um, and uh, bright colorful food, uh, you might want to check out her stuff. And then also from her table, um, I got these little wine bottles and I figure these will go in the Adams Family Mansion, um, probably in the kitchen area or on the dining room or in like a dining room china cabinet because um, they're Chianti and I just I like how they're wrapped up and then this is a little bottle of Bombay gin so and I thought these were really well done sometimes um, you see people who've made the bottles but the labels are coming off the side or 
aren't printed very well and so I thought these were just really well done and I think they were four dollars um, maybe four dollars a piece yeah four dollars a piece but when it comes to thinking through okay I'd have to get the resin to cast them print the labels make the bottom like the whole thing it's like I would rather purchase really nicely made miniatures then go through the process of figuring out how to make them myself so that's those next I have okay this is all from the same vendor okay. this is all from the same vendor and I don't think she gave me a receipt but she didn't give me a card or anything so I don't have that vendors information but she had a lot of um, like cast things and um, anyway uh, this little guy was just kind of sitting on a shelf like this and I thought he would look so cute in the Adams family graveyard and I would probably paint him over and make him look like concrete and like he's just kind of chilling out on top of a a grave site so um, that's why I purchased that guy and he was three dollars and um, I got this little charcoal barbecue thing I might put this in Wednesday in Pugsley's room um, or I might put this down in grandmama's kitchen or I might save it for another project but again I thought it was another miniature that was really well put together it's printed well it's folded well it has some weight to it and actually you can hear the you can hear the charcoal inside of it so I thought it was really well done it is something that I could make myself but when it's well done and it's three dollars I'm willing to go ahead and purchase that item okay so here we have some metal bits and um, I really liked these ornate frames I might try and make a mold out of them so that I can um, make some myself uh, but I thought they were really pretty and uh, this one was four dollars I think this one was maybe two dollars and then these little garlic cloves I think were about they were 50 cents each so um, paid a dollar fifty for three garlic cloves so I'll just put them probably in a bowl on grandmama's table and then I bought this little train I figured I could make a mold out of him possibly um, I'm really into making molds I will do a video on making molds soon I say that about a lot of videos take everything with a grain of salt um, this guy is two dollars I think he is a uh, a game piece from a game because I have purchased one of him before but I like the copper coloring on him and I just set them around the Adams family house and then I have a ship and he was two dollars um, but I again I think he's a game piece but I just I love the detail that's added by adding these little sculptures here and there and then I really liked this clock shape and I want to make a mold out of this guy um, so that I can cast some clocks and then um, try and make a real looking clock face and then uh, he was four dollars so but he's pretty solid metal and so that was it out of the brown bag and then I have two miniatures that actually ended up being my favorite of the show and I did not want to put them into a bag so that they didn't I didn't want them to get crushed so I didn't put actually put them in a bag so in my last haul video I purchased this guy and I was so excited about him I think he was two dollars two fifty something like that I found him in the very bottom of a um, like a rummage box of things that were for sale and um, I really loved him and so I found two more of these at the show and um, I'm starting to get a little um, miniature model ship addiction I think and so I found these guys they were 10 each and they were in just a little display case and I just I love the detail um, that are put that's put into these I can't imagine the time and the concentration it takes to put all the um, ropes 
and get everything glued so that it stands up and stays up. But um, I'll show you these individually. I'm thinking I may have to make like a ship maker scene with these guys. Um, I'm definitely staying on the lookout for these little model ships because I seem to be um, getting a collection. And uh, here's the other guy. I did ask him, I said, do you have any more of these? Cause he had like two cases. Oh, let me find his card. Oh, I'll show you his card in a second. He had two cases full of miniatures and it had like a rotating wheel thing. Um, and so I was like, do you have any more? But these were the only two he had. So I took these guys, I'll put them on their side so you can see them a little bit better. And uh, so now I have three with my original, my original friend here and then these two guys. And that is, can I'll cover up the, the personal information. It's the Little Dollhouse Company. And um, they have this really cool pamphlet. It looks like they ha their address and phone number may be their shop. So, probably won't mind if I show that information since they're giving it out. It's thelittledollhousecompany.com or you can email info at the Little Dollhouse Company. So, um, and they are in Canada. Yeah, Canada. So if you're a viewer from Canada in the Toronto, Toronto area, then um, you could even go visit their shop in person. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below which was your favorite item. If you like the video, make sure you leave me a like. And also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!